Hey, what's up, guys? Alex here, and welcome back to Mobile Legends The Ruins Guide Part 2. Now, in the first video I made, this is part 1, I discussed and talked about what ruins are, what they do, if they're necessary at all, and if frankly, how to build them in each legend. While in this video, part 2, as I stopped, I stopped on way. I'm going to begin from Roland and gradually break down the best ruins suitable for them. Okay, so starting off, get quick of this. Roland is basically I play him. That's um, Roland the legend I play the most. I have almost 200 appearances on him. Okay, so basically Roland is a late game tank. He becomes a very tanky tank in late game. Not so as tanky as Darren and Co, but he's very tanky, right? So that you can see here clearly, he is very high in magic and survival. So practically, the way I will build Roland is simple with my runes. I will use crits run, um, a magical attack run. No, not magic attack. Physical run. Yes, that's more preferable because it also affects your normal attack. Well, in this case, Roland early game loses a lot of MP quickly. Like you can use the stun, then the second skill like Blinding Wave, then Soaring Leap, and you're already out of MP. And so, which is a problem, so it's already optional that you can use um, MP or MP Regain. So yes, that should be slotted in, maybe once or twice. While the rest can be full Magical Defense, Physical Attack Runes, and um, Crit Runes. Simple and short. You might get um, Attack Speed Runes, but not so the run in general, in general doesn't attack fast. So that covers him, so practically just crit run, magical defense, MP or MP game, and physical attack run. Okay, now we'll go to Owen. Owen is practically, you can see here, his stats are survival and support maxed out, unlike any other legend. It's clear to see what Owen does. They've already painted the picture him. He isn't DPS, he doesn't do damage, but he is the clutch in the team. He like turns the table around in a battle. So preferably, what I will do, I already have a build, let me show you the, the build I have for Owen, because Owen is the legend I have second most played on. So yeah, <laughs> it's not so bad. Alright, okay, so... Yeah, so I'm sure this might, that's my first run castle. As you can see here, all you see properly is <laughs> MP, MP regain, HP, and HP regain. That's all I do for Owen, because practically... There's no need for damage, no need for... You can get magical defense or physical defense. It's, it's... I mean, you can get it. I mean, it's... It's optional, but this is what I do. I mean, and if, it makes a difference. You're going to see HP plus 32%. I mean, in the beginning, you normally have, like, four bars. But I have, like, I have five and a half. Which is pretty cool at in the beginning when you're con contesting for the power-up. The beginning power-up, I mean, gives you a chance to get it and, like, gives your team the upper hand. So, I mean, it's pretty useful. I mean, that's a lot of HP and MP, so... I don't have a problem with that, it's a pretty cool build. So that does it for Owen, let's see. So yeah, that's practically HP, MP, HP, MP regain as well. That's good. I haven't really used this legend, okay, I've, never, I've only used him once. But based on what I've seen and where, okay, I played him in AI, based on what I've seen from him, he's survival. So practically, you want to get much good defense. You want to get physical attack, and you might want to get um, HP. If you run, yeah. Necessarily, he wouldn't crit. He stuns and he tanks. So magical defense, physical defense, physical attack, because that's what he has and control. Physical attack and um, HP. Practically, he doesn't run out of MP problems. So more HP and more magical defense equals more tank. Simple and short. So there are two things. I suggest use it for a Tusker, simple and short. Um, Duke, I just got him recently, so I started using him. Pretty cool legend. I mean, three ticks of skills to use. I mean, at the end of the game, he's pretty alright. For Duke, I would suggest, you can see here, he's more suited to physical, where his skills are magical, even though they don't really mean that. Because every legend starts up with 100% magical um, percent rate damage until you use um, a build that busts it up. But, Generally, so don't worry about MATK magic runes. So, practice does get physical runes, HP runes, and due to the fact that his chain lightning, um, what's this? No, not now, sorry, can it? Due to the fact that his chain light and um, his chain metal test was called electric boogie, 
is like gradually over time hurting the enemy, actually just getting a crit because getting a crit and do some increasing your damage is very OP. So I'll suggest a crit ruin, a physical attack ruin, a attack speed ruin, of course, because he attacks crazy fast as soon as you've reached full build. So crit ruin, um, physical attack ruin, um, what else? Uh, and yeah, magical attack run. No, not magical attack. Um, what did I say? <laughs> um, physical, yes. Yeah. Crit rain, physical attack run, and attack speed run. Oh my god, all these buzzing. I was from Discord. Please just ignore that. I'll try to reduce it right here. If you still notice it, anyways. Okay, so. Crackle Lab does it for Duke, so crit run, physical attack, and attack speed. He isn't so much of a tank, he's pretty squishy. Well, the way I build him is not so tanky. So, some people build him pretty tanky, I mean, he's good at survival, so I guess it still works out for them. Tell you to Wei. Okay, my boy Wei here. Um, Wei is still to, he's well rounded as well, as I said before, but more to the physical. And he attacks fast, he's good at strong structures. So simple and short, this is what you get for way. You get physical attack, you get attack speed, attack interval, and um, maybe let's see. Attacks fast, okay, physical attack, attack speed, attack interval. That pretty much covers it and maybe uh, movement speed, yeah. Or I can just get magic defense because I mean he's pretty he's very squishy as well, so magic defense has to buff him up a bit. So but three I said before are very compulsory moments um attack speed, physical attack, and crit. Yeah, crit, yeah, that's what you need. Now willing. <laughs> I can see it's very tilted to magic and support. Yeah, what do you mean by support? Do they mean by heals by mean they mean by you know like damage wise? Because his alt attacks everybody, so that's in a way support. And he's all the way maxed out in magic, so this is very straightforward. There's no two ways about it. Yet magical attack, don't get physical, and crit run. You need a crit because his alt always is a crit. The same thing for Johnic. Magical attack and crit run, and maybe you can get a magical defense. He's pretty squishy, but if not, just major in those two, those two. Maybe an MP run, but this that's optional. But the main I that you should have, you should fill up most slots with. Is magical attack and maybe magical pierce and um, what I say crit yeah mad a crit crit chance so those are three I recommend Jonic Jonic in general is a very rich character I mean very <laughs> a lot of people call him broken <laughs> even I do call him broken because he can I have lost what times so I'm not supposed to lose to him due to the fact that he gives me too much space and gap of range okay so Practically, he isn't good at survival, very squishy, not support, no magical. Tilts to very physical and rings. So, simple and short, he attacks fast. So, you're gonna get attack speed, physical attack, damage, crits, because his ultimate and the hunt is on, as he'll say, is, if not all the time, is going to be a crit, critical hit. And so, it's best to buff it up with a critical ring. So, physical attack, attack speed, you must get attack speed as compulsory, physical attack, and crit room. That those are all compulsory things I can say. Sakura. Okay. So practically Sakura is a very based in control, so I mean he has lots of control in the battlefield and 1v1. You can trust yourself in winning with two stuns, with his alt and the full main slash. And he has good survival skills, so he isn't squishy, which makes him pretty good as a handy legend. So, if I were you, I'll bid physical attack, crit ruin, you don't really need attack speed, and magical defense, and physical defense, optional. So those are three I recommend for Sakura. Striker. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen much of him, but you can see his stats. He is well, as in, on like way, he is better well-rounded in every stat. Except he's not, he's very squishy, okay? So that means he can die easily. Well, he's got a magical physical and control, which is amazing. And from based on what I've seen from him, he wants to get attack speed, physical damage, magical damage, 
and that's all. You don't need much defense. I mean, he he gets it. He escapes quick enough. I mean, he has um, speed. His skill speed boosts him. Like randomly, he can just start moving fast. I mean, he can escape easily with teleport. So I mean, there's no need to get much defense for that at all. So just magical attack, physical attack, and crit run. Simple and short. Now we have Maxim. All right. Maxim, basically, he's good survival and he's just like um, my friend here, Willing. They'll suit it in two ways, and that's that's the way you build it. I have, I have a build for Maxim. Let me go and show you that real quick. Um, okay, so I just called, named it Maxim. So you can see here, it's practically simple. You have physical attack, um, attack speed, crit chance. And magical defense and MP, as you can see here. Magical defense and physical attack, MP, crits 1.5 and 2k, two times, attack speed, and lifesteal options so you can regain over time, which is also very good due to the fact that he attacks freaking fast. So, as you can see, what you see here does practically copy and paste, <laughs> I'm guessing. If not, you have a better one, I guess. So, let's see what else. What well, more legends to go? Alright, so where are we? Okay, not done. Okay, so let's go for Maxim. Um, uh, you try? Okay, thank you. So you stuck the. from the ashes. Okay, Ember. As you can click, oh, did I make a mistake? If I did, please leave in the comments below. I don't know if I did. I don't think so. I'm busy, at least star. So, he's. Crazy damage dealer, alt does insane damage, good at survival, so picked up a magical, magical damage. So, it's as simple as that, as long as you see this, you know what to do. You get magical, magical attack, magical attack, crit, you need that crit because each ball practically has a chance to crit, and the crit which makes the damage even more in ultimate, so magical attack, crit, and um... Magical defense, yes, because due to the fact you wanted to survive a bit, I guess she can slow down enemies and has amazing range with the Wailing Phoenix, which has goes for a long way. Same thing with the Waze Sword Slash and what's it called? Kirin Rope Up Laser. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you want to do physical and uh, magical attack, crit, and magical pierce. Yes, that would be amazing. That's like a nice run build. Let's continue. Map Jewel. Alright, so Jewel, as you can see, if you've seen her, a lot of people call her broken, but they need to fix her, which might be true, honestly, I don't really know, but I know her alt is really insane, does insane damage, she she really carries a lot, she steals the kills, steals MVPs most of the times. So what you want to do with her is practically simple as well, you want to get, okay, most of her skills are magical, so you're going to get magical attack, Physical attack and crit. That's all you practice, all you need. Just three of those. You can shut them individually in each three elements and just do it like that. Lift them up as you go on. They're up. Alright, he is also a long range character like um, Bria and Jonix. Oh my. So, it's gonna be simple. What we're gonna do with John and um, Derok is physical. He mm, does a lot of burst damage, so his ultimate goes throughout the whole map. He has a wide AoE skill which shoots arrows rapidly, damages the opponent over time around the radius. Um, okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna have physical attack, we're gonna have attack speed ruin, and crit ruin. And maybe a magical defense ruin. I don't think he has MP problems. And you just want to boost up that survival stat right there. So that's what you're going to practically build him up as. So yeah. Okay, we'll have Dread next. Dread the Pleb. Mostly more people complain that Dread is, um... When noobs play Dread, like, maybe, I don't know. I mean, Dread is pretty easy to get a hang of. Anybody can use him. Alright, so you can see here, he's very good survival, control, and physical, so... And he crits 
like crazy so you must prioritize in crit runes that's priority one physical attack runes number two and magical defense runes number two maybe number three maybe a physical defense run but apart from those those are the three you should get well Bria next Bria she attacks fast so you only get attack speed she maxes out in physical so get physical attack attack speed Crit, so uh, not sure, but that's the one I've been taught. You can get magical defense, MP, physical attack, and what is and and, and speed, um, attack speed. So, yeah, those are the practice you can get for Bria. My favorite comes to the end. They're on. Here's the tank, so you're gonna prioritize in magical defense, physical defense, and physical attack just those three and maybe hp yeah hp 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 regain you yeah, know maybe i guess so hp regain that's one that's more reasonable and you'll have evelyn and also another tank maxed out in survival as well as owen so you're gonna use most of the survival build for him her and so you see, you're gonna have to stack up in magical and physical defense rings let's prioritize on those then you can probably have um HP and H HP, MP, and maybe HP and MP regain. But prioritize on magical defense and physical defense mostly. Then we have. Uh, click, click, click. Boom. Is it frozen? Okay, never mind. Then we have Pyrex. Pyrex, if I got any more. <laughs> okay, you guys should really stop. Like, I'm busy right now. Okay, so. <laughs> Pyrex is a for survival. So you're gonna get physical. Defense and magical defense. You also can do insane damage. So you're gonna get crits, ruins, and maybe physical, but mainly magical defense, physical defense, and crit runs. Prioritizing those three, you can add HP or MP and regain if you want, depending if you see fit, which one's better. And that brings me to the end of the all legends. There is an update that's coming out soon with a new legend. I'll make a video for that later in the next, well, that's a couple of hours from now. When it comes out, be expecting that, so stay tuned. And so, that practically covers all the legends and the ruins I suggest I recommend that you should use for anybody that beginner to use. I mean, they might not be the best, of course, but they do not suck. I mean, they work pretty well. Try them in all new legends. So, I mean, they are suitable, are suited for the legend playstyle. So, I mean, they will help you one way or another. They might be. I mean, like Spirit Runes has Gold and Bounty Hunter runes. I mean, you can also check in your old special type of rune you want. Even on how you play, it also affects how you play. I'm just giving this based on how the legend is based off of. So, I mean, you can tweak it a bit, but I mean, it's good to prioritize the ones I said you should. The main two or threes I said, because I mean, that's what they are based off. So, that's the best thing to do. But, anyways, thank you guys. This is the end of my the guide to runes. Although, if there is any other new update or anything you want me to do about it, you can leave in the comments below. Or I'll make a video about it on my own. So, thank you guys. Peace out. Catch you guys later.